And you're watching the music scene. Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie DeGraff for the music scene, and I'm really excited. We've got an upcoming artist with me today. Her name's Katrina. Watch out, she has been on an uphill swing. And this little lady, she started back when she was little, actually. The returning champion has sung her way past the competition five weeks in a row. Tonight she goes for win number six from West Hills, California. Welcome 12-year-old Katrina Abrams. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. It's great to be here. Um, I started singing when I was nine. I was on Star Search when I was 11. And um, I was on the show quite a bit because I won. And people started to recognize me at a very young age. I would be out and people would ask for my autograph and stuff. And I didn't understand how the concept of celebrity related to me. I understood, you know, people like Ed McMahon were famous. Yes. I just didn't get how I was. Let's find out what the judges have to say. The decision is coming. Katrina Abrams receives four stars. A perfect score. Her challenger, Aaliyah Hutton, receives three and a quarter stars. Okay, Katrina, congratulations. I'm born and raised in Los Angeles, so I was really happy to return back to Los Angeles for law school after college in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And I went to law school at Southwestern University, which is downtown LA. And I also earned my master's in entertainment and media law there, which wow. was the first year of that program. Uh -huh. And that was really special for me because I love music. And that was my favorite year of school, even though it was kind of crazy to go back for a whole year after being in school for seven years. Oh my gosh. It was really <laughs> a blessing because I got to study something I loved more than anything, which was music and intellectual property. And I actually got good grades. Well, of course, you're smart <laughs> and beautiful. What inspires you when you write music? Is, is it a certain sound, a feeling, the rain? I mean, what gets to you? You know, whenever something crosses my path that I think would be interesting in a song, something different, I write it down or I'll put it in my notes in my cell phone. But um, when I'm actually in the process of songwriting or I'm in the studio, I try to be really picky with the lyrics so that um, it expresses something that people can relate to, but also that the language is interesting, the words that you're using and how they're put together, that it, there's something fun about it. Um, in school, when I had a hard time remembering stuff for finals, like certain things like history, I wasn't really good with the numbers and years, I would put it to a song. So, you know, when something rhymes or it's rhythmic, um, I just... I, I really like that. I think that when you can feel it and it kind of beats along with your heart, I don't know how else to describe it, there's a cool feeling that there's a connection to that music. And um, my biggest goal, though, is to write something that people can relate to. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Okay, let's do it. yourself like do you have a certain routine do you try and set aside a certain number of hours in a day or do you just kind of free flow and it inspires you I love how you say you write it in your phone 
That's good. Sometimes that's all you have yeah. is your phone's <laughs> in your pocket and you see something crossing the street and you go, mm -hmm. oh, there's a horse on that balcony. How random is yeah. that? Yeah. Also, I was wondering who is your dream collaboration person? Okay, so <laughs> I have been on this kick lately where I have found that I have basically one degree of separation from oh. Gavin DeGraw. Same yes. last name. You don't yes. know by any chance, do you? I know we're related somehow. All right, do you? I don't know how, and I'm going to dig in that genealogy and find okay. out. Everybody <laughs> asks me that. <laughs> I think he's oh. such a major talent. And um, I mean, as a male vocalist and songwriter, he's someone I would just fall over to be able to perform with, let alone write with. Yeah. It would be amazing. Um, and also Bruno Mars, the yes. song Grenade. Every time I hear it, I just wish you would do oh, it as a duet with me. That would be incredible. Uh, but if I could go back yeah. in time musically, okay. I would love, I would love to have been able to work with Ella Fitzgerald in oh, her prime because yeah. she has shaped so many female vocalists today no matter what the genre is i think she really set the bar high for what it means to be a female artist i i'd agree with that one <laughs> so how do you get your music out there and do you work with certain people we have an amazing team both here and in the uk so even though i have the background right. educationally i try and stay away from those things because when you're worrying about the business details, it is hard to stay focused on the creative. Yeah. Um, so I'm always there for feedback and sometimes I'll look things over because I do have a unique skill set, yeah. but so does everyone else on the team and I really trust and rely um, on what they bring to the table because they're amazing. Mm -hmm. I know you've met some of them, some of them you've known. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. The UK, we're having great traction there with both Shame On Me and So Eden, which is a huge blessing and the coolest feeling to be on the radio, not only here in the US, but overseas in the United Kingdom. And I got to go to London for the oh, very first time because so of music. Cool. I've been yeah. there three times, and I think oh we're planning gosh. another trip. <laughs> it's amazing, but it does take a lot of time and a lot of exposure and um, a lot of patience because it's amazing how long it takes for all these different places that are sharing the music with their viewers and listeners to connect the dots, mm -hmm. um, especially because it's a much bigger territory geographically here than in the UK, I think it takes longer to cover the ground and, and um, to really build your audience and name recognition. Like I had some shows in the Midwest and back east where, you know, people didn't know, they had no idea who I was, which is fine, I didn't expect them to, but then they come up to me and say, hey, I know your song, Shame On Me, because it's been on the radio for almost a year now. So that is so cool. Yes. Is there any other little tips you want to give um, as to the fans, to a musician? Anything else you can say about this fantastic ride that you're going on? Well, I want to thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank the fans um, because without you guys um, loving the music and letting me know what you think of it and what you respond to, there's really no reason for me to be doing what I'm doing. Without the fans, there's no purpose. Yeah. Yeah. And to fellow musicians out there who have not had the opportunity to be on the radio, I just want you guys to know that I'm so aware of the vast amount of talent out there that's so deserving to be seen and heard and the opportunities. I try to be really um, grateful and, and aware of the opportunities that I've had because there is so much talent that sometimes doesn't have the chance to get out there and so to all of you I say surround yourselves with people who are positive and have positive energy and um, just ignore the naysayers and surround yourself with people that have positive energy and believe in you and help lift you up that you can help lift up too because that positive energy really is what you feed off of until you have fans and listeners that reach out and say hey I love what you're doing it's your friends and family that keep you there so all about good energy. How can everybody follow along on your journey? Oh, um, well you can find me online. I really get a kick out of doing my own social media. Ah. So if you get a tweet okay. back, it's from me. Um, my Twitter handle is uh, at Katrina Music and my website is katrinamusic.com and you can find my Facebook fan page from there. And um, my music is available on iTunes and Tune Tribe. And um, anything you can't find, you can find through my website, katrinamusic.com. Awesome. Thank you so much for Thank taking you. a minute out of your crazy schedule here Please. in LA. It's in my between, pleasure. In between LA, Boise, who knows next? She stopped by and had a good visit with us. Thank, Thank you. Sweetie. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Hi, I'm Katrina. And I'm Sean. And you've, you've been, been watching, watching The Music, music Scene. scene.